Jim Dever here coming to you from Monroe and Willie Green's farm where the you pick strawberry season is underway. Many, many, many good strawberries to pick and they're huge. It's not gonna take you long to pick that bucket. I bet you pick that bucket in 10 minutes. Owner Jeff Miller's passion is organic farming. He's been doing it since the 1980s, and Willie Green's is one of the first you pick strawberry farms to open in the area. There's 20 acres here, and they grow a lot of other organic produce, too. In fact, blueberries come in at the end of June, and then you, that's followed by raspberries, grapes, kiwis. They've got all kinds of stuff going on here. And if you're lucky, you'll get some help from the farmhands, pepper and kiwi. Okay, now we're going to head on down to Vancouver, Washington, where there's a house for sale that you have to see to believe. And when you do, please try to contain your excitement. Here's Saint with tonight's Unreal Estate. Thank you, Saint. The Vancouver, Washington Container Home is on the market. It's $2 million. For more information, we have a link on our website, king5evening.com. Well, you know, not all Seattle Olympians are competing for the United States. In fact, one guy had to go halfway around the world to meet up with his team. And it's a journey that's taken a year longer than expected. What is getting pretty good? Stewart says he'd love to resume his life in Seattle after the Olympics. Just don't tell his parents because they've kind of enjoyed having him close to home in Melbourne. Ooh, that is a good one. There's a business here in Monroe that sells used Legos. It's a genius idea. Just don't show up there in your bare feet. Ow. Here's Kim. Thank you, Kim. Everyone at Bricks and Minifigs is excited to be back in business again. If you go, wear a mask. If you can't wear a mask, you can make an appointment to shop with them outside normal business hours. I'm just going to sit here and eat everything I pick. And the show goes on from here at Willie Green's Farm in Monroe, where you can pick your own organic berries. They also grow beautiful weddings here. Their outdoor wedding venue has room for up to 225 guests. You know, they actually have church services here every Sunday. I can see why. The grounds are heavenly, especially on a beautiful day like today. There's a new movie opening this weekend called In the Heights. It comes to us from Hamilton creator Lin-Manuel Miranda. Kim says this film is full of joy. It's a musical, and if you haven't been to a theater in more than a year, well, she says this is a good reason to go back. There's a breeze. Thank you, Kim. In the Heights is rated PG-13, and it opens in theaters tomorrow. By the way, we took the cast's suggestions for those foods and put together a whole list of where you can find them locally. You can find that on our website at king5evening.com. By the way, we have a great giveaway associated with that movie right now. It's the In the Heights curated gift box worth 160 bucks. That includes in theaters tomorrow. By the way, we took the cast's suggestions for those foods and put together a whole list of where you can find them locally. You can find that on our website at king5evening.com. By the way, we have a great giveaway associated with that movie right now. It's the In the Heights curated gift box worth 160 bucks. That includes Fandango tickets in the Heights. Okay, that's it from here at Willie Green's Farm in Monroe. Plenty of strawberries. I will be making smoothies tonight. Up next, it's an all new manifest. And we'd like to leave you now with an Everett based husband and wife duo called The Porters. This is their song, Lucky Bunny. 